And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Chakra, a game in which the box says here, aligning your chakras can be a real challenge. It's up to you to channel your energy to finally reach your fullness. Relax. Align this by moving energy around. This is a game in which you have this energy that you need to kind of harmonize. You're moving energy back and forth. It's a race game. The first one to align energy will help end the game, but you're also trying to score points by moving the right colors energies. That doesn't really sound like anything when I say it out loud, right? Like, move your energy. It just almost sounds like I'm just saying words. But there is a game here. Let me show you. Each player is going to get a board that's shown here. Uh, they, you can play them on the right or the left side, doesn't really matter. You're going to get these five tokens here that you're going to use. These are inspiration tokens. At the beginning of the game, you're going to draw a random token from this pool, and you get to look at the value of that chip. And these chips are going to be valued one to four, so I now know that blue is worth three. So on your a player's turn, there are three different actions that they can take. One of the actions is they can take one, two, or three energy of different uh, colors from the same Maya flow. So these are randomly pulled from a bag. And if this is black as negative energy, if there is black, you must take it. So I could take just these two. I could take all three. I could take just one. But if I take just one, it has to be black. I could take all three of these, etc. When you take these, so let's say I take these three here. When you take them, you have two options of where to put them. You can put them in the Bagya bubbles, that's at the very top up here, as long as they're open. Or you can put them directly in one of the spots here on the board. But if you do that, you then have to put one of your inspiration tokens there. That does two things. It locks up that inspiration token that you can't use for other things, and you can't put tokens there again. If you completely get this filled with yellow energy that's in that yellow chakra there, so let's say later on I manage to get three yellow energy in this spot here, then whew, it's been harmonized and this will come back to me. Now another thing you can do on your turn is you can move energy around. So let's say the energy looks like this. I can spend one of my tokens, place it on the thing here, and so this lets me move one energy down three spaces, uh, this lets me move one down one space, one up one space. Maybe I'll move the yellow down. I want to move the purple up, but I can't because this is full. But I might move the green up. Now, once something's harmonized, if I want to move the purple up, I can skip the harmonized one as I'm moving them around. Other than that, though, you need to make sure that there's spaces to be able to move these up and down. If you have the negative energy, you want to move it all the way down to the very bottom where the black energy comes out the bottom at the end of the game, each of these is going to be worth one point. The third action you can take on your turn is meditate, which basically just says pull these tokens off the board and put them in front of you. That's pretty much it. You're going to, when, these, when you pull energy off of here, it's going to be refilled. There's going to be more energy placed on these from the bag. The bag's going to be full of three energy for each player. Every time you harmonize one, you will have a chance to take another token and look at another color to see what the value of that color is. The game is going to end. Basically, players are going to get a lot of points, but the game is going to end when one player has five harmonized chakras here. When that happens, you're going to each harmonized chakra that you have, you're going to get one to four points based on the values, which will be shown here. Remember I said the values are one to four, with one of the tokens is randomly removed from the game at the beginning, so in this case a four. You will also get one point for each alleviated energy, that's his negative energy that's brought out the bottom. And then you will count the number of aligned harmonized chakras from bottom to top, and whoever has the most gets two extra points. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can also play a solo level and just see how many points you get total to see if you become a wise one, a disciple, blue butterfly, chrysalis, or small cocoon, or basically, hey, you need to relax more. And that's pretty much it. That's how you play. The game itself is very pretty. I like how 
the different colors come together and the boards are two big puzzle piece boards you just take them apart and you can have them in either direction the comes with a very nice big bag easy to fit your hand in and all these energy tokens do look colorful and fun it's easy to move them up and down the symbology is pretty simple on these you know which move something down three, move one, move three different things down one, move one down two, etc. Discard a black energy here and alleviate energy and choose one energy from the bag and put it in a bubble at the top. So if you get a black energy at the bottom, you can find that specific color you want to get it in. But overall, the production for this game, very well done. <laughs> So the game is super pretty, and I like the the idea of the game, which is, you know, grab some colors, put them at the top, slide them down to the bottom as efficiently as you can. Maybe stick them in the bottom, but then you're going to lose one of your inspiration tokens, not be able to stick them in there faster, so it'll take a while to harmonize that section, but it might be faster. It's all about a game about, you know, economizing, you know, your moves. Basically, can I make these get to the right colors as fast as I possibly can. There's two things I don't like about the game. First of all is that the colors always go downward, which means the it just isn't that interesting. If you get purples, which is the top color, early, and you can harmonize your purple, you can do better because you can just skip over the purple as you move things down. You say, well, Tom, that works the same way if you do red, which is the bottom. But no, not really, because you won't skip over red to get to other colors. So red is just not as good as purple. <sighs> the game is okay. It's interesting to, to move the colors around. And there's an, some interesting decisions to make. If you'll, When you take those colors, which colors will you take and where will you put them? If you put them directly on, you can get a color directly in a chakra and another color, maybe one above and below, you can move that in its place. That's great, but you have to give up one of those discs and it kind of blocks that off for a while and then you have to harmonize it to get it back. But the problem with the game is not even just that. That, that's, that part of the game's okay. You're moving these things around and it's supposed to, ooh, good. I feel okay. I, I don't mind that part. What I do mind is that the colors are all different numbers. They're all different values. At the beginning of the game, I learned that yellow is worth two. Great, I don't really care about yellow. But I don't know what the other colors are, and I won't know what the other colors are until I harmonize one. So I harmonize green, and I look, and green's worth one. Great, I can't change that. I've already harmonized it. I already got the one point. So now I've learned that blue is worth three. I guess I'll harmonize blue, but I don't have blue, and I'm about to harmonize purple. And that part of the game just felt really random. I'm not a big fan of things when the points are like this, one, two, three, four, because that means the one that's four is four times as good as the other one. And when we played this, everyone is finishing up around the same time. Everyone's harmonizing around the same time. Everyone harmonizes different colors. The person who harmonized the most colors that with the highest numbers won, but they didn't even know all of them. You don't know which colors are the highest. You can slowly learn it over the course of the game, but you've already harmonized a bunch of colors at that point. So it's kind of too late, that information. I don't know. This game is supposed to be like a, ooh, I'm getting rid of my stress, but I found it a little stressful as you're trying to race other people to, to harmonize this stuff. It looks pretty. I don't think it's going to appeal to a lot of people. It's an interesting idea of pulling these things out, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot more to the game than that. Just pull, pull these you know, gems, move them around, score points, and see who won. Mm, that's not enough of a game for me. Dice Tower Judgment, pretty, but not much else.